Hi students, welcome back once again to your favorite channel, Frank Guruji. आज के इस वीडियो में मैं आपको बहुत ही सहज और एक सीधा सा मेथड बताऊंगा जिससे कि आप किसी भी मॉलिक्यूल का हाइब्रिडाइजेशन यू यू फाइंड आउट कर लोगे सो इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ अ मॉलिक्यूल इन अ शॉर्टकट मेथड बट बिफोर दैट आई वुड एक्सपेक्ट दैट ऑल ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स व्यूअर्स to watch the video from start to the end without skipping so let's start the video and know the uh, easier method to find out the hybridization of a given molecule see here i have already written some molecules here so these molecules i will explain you how to find out the hybridization but one thing you must remember this is this method is applicable when the number of valence electron falls between 9 to 56 so majority of the molecules do fall in this category and the the surrounding atom should be at least divalent now one thing so let's find out what's the method so let's see clo4 okay so this clo4 minus this is the molecule you have to find out the hybridization what is the first step first step you have to find out total number of valence electron okay so see here in chlorine if you uh, remember chlorine's atomic number 17 so its configuration is 287 so that means number of valence electron in chlorine is 7 so here we can write 7 plus now in case of oxygen if you write the electronic configuration it is 26 so number of valence electron is 6 now there are four oxygen atoms so four multiplied by six and one more thing whenever there is a minus charge you have to add that charge so minus 1 that means we have to add plus 1 so we are getting 7 plus 4 6 is 24 plus 1 so this comes out to be 32 okay now the next method next step not next met step method next step is you divide the total valence electron by 8 why 8 because 8 is a octet number it's uh, it gives stability octet number of electrons so when we divide 32 by 8 it comes out to be 4 so 4 means how can you write this hybridization this is sp3 okay so that means what the hybridization of clo4 minus is sp3 again let's check out what is the method first method you calculate the total number of valence electron so in clo4 minus chlorine has 7 valence electron oxygen has 4 valence electron now there are four oxygen atoms so we have to multiply this with 4 and there is one minus charge so you have to add that so on calculation 7 4 6 0 24 and 1 so we are getting total number of valence electron as 32 so in the next step what you will do it will divide 32 by 4 so when we divide 32 by 4 8 4 are 32 we get 4 so how can we express 4 we can express it as sp3 now here one more thing the the orbitals that will be we will be requiring are sp and d combination of three these three orbital gives us the hybridization so in case of clo4 minus the hybridization is sp3 so i hope you have understood now let's move on to the next example that is po4 3 minus so po4 3 minus po4 
3 minus. See here, total number of valence electron. Total number of valence electron is equal to what? Phosphorus atomic number is 15. So we can write it as 285. That means it has 5 valence electrons. So 5 plus in oxygen it is 26. So 6. So 4 into 6 plus there you can see here 3 minus charge so you have to add this so it comes out to be 5 plus 24 plus 3 so that means uh, 27 again 32 so second step total number of valence electron divided by 8 so that's how it comes out to be 32 by 8 so this is equal to 4 so the hybridization is sp3 so i hope you have understood so po4 3 minus also has the same hybridization as clo4 minus that is sp3 let's ch check out if it's correct or not phosphorus atomic number 15 so 2 we can express it as 285 so it has 5 valence electrons so 5 i have written Oxygen's atomic number 8, so when you write the electronic configuration, it is 2, 6, so it has 6 valence electron. Now there are 4 oxygen atoms, so multiply this with 4, and then due to the presence of 3 minus charges, we have added them. So 5, oh, 6, uh, 24 plus 3, 24 plus 5, 29 plus 3, 32. The next step, you divide it by 8, so 32 divided by 8 gives us 4. So this is the hybridization of phosphate ion. Now let's move on to the next ion that is ClO3 minus. Okay, so total number of valence electron, I will do it directly now, I will do it in steps divided by 8 so chlorine 7 plus 3 into 6 plus 1 divided by 8 so 7 3 6 are 24 plus 1 8 again this is 32 by 8 so 4 so this also has sp3 okay so here let's write this sp3 sp3 this is also sp3 am i am i am i correct let me check out no the calculation is wrong here i'm sorry see here 7 3 6 18 i've written 24 plus 1 divided by 8 so uh, 18 plus 1, 19 plus 7, 26 by 8. Now, now, dear, here there is a, you have to, in, in case if, if you don't get a perfect uh, divisor, when we divide 26 by 8, what will happen? We have 8 threes are 24 so we have two remainder so if you come across a remainder agar division ke baad remainder aa jaye to jo remainder hai yahan pe aapko kya karna hoga two se divide karna hoga so two ones are two aur ye jo divisor hai inko add kar dena hoga so that is three plus one four so please remember agar aapke molecule mein agar jab jisko ab divide kar rahe total number of electrons ko jab ab divide karte ho eight se agar aap को परफेक्टली वो डिवाइड नहीं होता है जैसे कि यहां पे वी आर डिवाइडिंग 8 3 24 नाउ वी हैव टू रिमाइंडर तो व्हेन वी गेट टू रिमाइंडर नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू डिवाइड दैट रिमाइंडर बाय टू बिकॉज़ दिस वाज वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाय 8 ड्यू टू ऑक्टेट सो नेक्स्ट स्टेबल नंबर इज ड्यूप्लेट सो दैट्स व्हाई यू हैव टू डू बाय डिवाइड द रिमाइंडर बाय टू एंड देन यू हैव टू ऐड द डिवाइजर द डिविडेंड यहां पे जो डिविडेंड जो आपको मिला है 3 प्लस 1 उसको ऐड कर देना है तो यहां हमको मिला 4 तो खैर ये हाइब्रिडाइजेशन भी sp3 ही हुआ तो आप इसको जरूर नोट करो तो आई होप आपको एग्जांपल समझ आया अब हम नेक्स्ट XCF2 के तरफ बढ़ते हैं सो so, XCF2 आप जानते ही हो ये इस रेनॉन जो है एक 
नोबल गैस है तो इसके आउटसाइड में आउटर मोस्ट शेल में आठ इलेक्ट्रॉन होगा सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन डिवाइडेड बाई एट करेंगे हम तो देखो भाई जेनॉन में आठ और फ्लोरीन में आपका हो जाता है टू सेवन तो सात है तो एट प्लस टू इंटू सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई एट तो एट प्लस सेवन टू ज फोर्टीन प्लस एट सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी टू बाई एट तो यू डिवाइड दिस ट्वेंटी टू बाई एट सो एट टू ज सिक्सटीन सो सिक्स सो दिस विल बी Now you have to uh, divide this by three. Let me check it again. Xenon eight, fluorine has seven, so two seven is seven two is a fourteen plus eight, and twenty two divided by two. So this is two three is a six. So you have to add these two quotients. That is equal to two plus three. So this is equal to five. So that means we are having five. Or vitals, so the hybridization of this will be sp3d. Three plus one, four plus one, five. So let's write it here. Hybridization of this, this is sp3d. Now let's move on to the next molecule, that is xco2f2. Okay. Uh, that is. We have the molecule XeOF2. So here again, xenon is having eight, oxygen six plus two into seven divided by eight. So this is eight plus six plus seven to the fourteen plus eight. I hope I am calculating properly because proper calculation is very necessary. If there is a little bit of Mistake in calculation, the result will not come out. Eight, six, seven, two, zero, fourteen. So fourteen plus six, twenty plus eight, twenty-eight divided by eight. So twenty-eight when we divide eight, three, zero, twenty-four. Now four remainder. So the remainder we have to divide by two. So two, two, zero, four. So three plus two, that is again five. So that means it is. sp3 d so here also xcof2 sp3 d next let let's move on to the next molecule that is xco2 f2 xco2 f2 so see here 8 o2 means 2 into 6 Plus two into seven divided by eight, so this comes out to be eight twelve plus fourteen divided by eight. Now fourteen plus twelve twenty six plus eight thirty four divided by eight, so thirty four. Uh, eight four is a thirty two. Two two one is a two. Again four plus one. Four plus one equal to five. That means this also has same sp3 d. Now let's move on to another molecule. That is I f5. I f5. So see here for this iodine, it's a halogen. So seven plus five into seven divided by eight. So seven plus five seven is a thirty-five plus eight. So it comes out to be forty-two by eight. So forty-two means eight five is a forty. Now remainder two, you divide the remainder by two. So it's five plus one. That is six. So six means this has what? Sp three D two. Three plus two five plus one six. Okay. So this is the hybridization of IF five Sp three D two. Next, the molecule is carbon dioxide. It's an easy one. 
this is very easy trick you know you don't you are not required to remember information like loan pair bond pair and so 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 i find it quite easier method carbon dioxide carbon has four plus 2 into 6 divided by 8 so 4 plus 12 by 8 12 plus 4 16 by 8 8 to the 16 so it is 2 2 means the hybridization is sp so this is sp next move on to pcl5 so pcl5 phosphorus pentachloride what should be the c here so phosphorus 5 and 5 into 7 same by 8 5 35 by 8 so this is equal to 40 by 8 8 5 is a 40 so 5 means it is sp3 d so this has sp3 d next the last example that i have chosen is that of nocl nitrogen 5 oxygen 6 and chlorine 7 so 5 plus 6 11 by 11 plus 7 18 by 8 8 to the 16 to remainder divide this by 1 so we get 2 and 1 you add them 2 plus 1 equal to 3 so that means this hybridization is sp2 so this is sp2 so in this way we can calculate the hybridization so please note down तो स्टूडेंट्स अब हम आपको और एक चीज बताने जा रहे हैं अगर आप किसी मॉलिक्यूल के हाइब्रिडाइजेशन आपको पता चल जाए मतलब उस मॉलिक्यूल में जो सेंट्रल एटम है उसका अगर आपको हाइब्रिडाइजेशन पता चल जाए इफ यू कम टू नो अबाउट द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ द सेंट्रल एटम ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट वेदर द मॉलिक्यूल हैज लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन और नॉट by a formula now i am using here some abbreviation like first of all i am using ho for hybrid orbital ca for central atom and sa for surrounding atom i have made a table for you all just now the molecules whose hybridization we have found out i have written them here the hybridization now i am telling you how to find out the lone pair present on the central atom by a trick first of all see students when the hybridization of the molecule this is molecule number one two three four five that is clo4 minus its hybridization is sp3 that means it has one s orbital and three p orbitals so three plus one there are four hybrid orbitals now around one cl how many surrounding atoms are there four so to find out the lone pair on central atom what we have to do we have to divide four minus four that is c this so that means uh, this this molecule this molecule does not have any lone pair the lone pair present in clo4 minus cl does not have any lone pair zero lone pair it has only bond pairs four bond pair zero lone pair now let's come to phosphate here also four hybrid orbital and four surrounding orbital so here also no lone pair so all the pair of electrons are bond pairs here four but you see surrounding atom is three so this is one so that means out of four orbital there are three bond pair and one lone pair this is the lone pair next come to the here here five hybrid orbitals so five how many surrounding atom two so two five minus two that is three so out of the five orbital what there are two bond pairs plus three lone pairs so in this way we can calculate next come to the next molecule five 
2 plus 1 3 so 5 minus 3 that is 2 so there are two lone pairs so out of this that means out of 5 3 bond pair plus 2 lone pair so in this way we can calculate the lone pair present on the central atom now next come to here 5 how many surrounding atom 2 2 4 so that is one lone pair so out of 5 4 bond pair plus one lone pair next come to this this is 6 minus 5 so that is 1 so out of 6 5 bond pair plus one lone pair come here two how many surrounding atom two so the central atom does not have lone pair it has only two bond pairs okay let's come to pcl5 five minus five zero so that means it has five bond pair no lone pairs come to the last one that is three 1 plus 1, 2. So 3 minus 2, this is 1. So that means out of 3, 2 are bond pair and 1 is lone pair. So by this method, students, we can calculate the lone pairs present on the sulfur atom and if you know the lone pair present on sulfur, on, uh, I mean not sulfur atom, surrounding atom. Agar hume molecule mein kitne bond pair or lone pair hai ya lone pair hai ki nahi whether the molecule has lone pair or how many lone pair if it has how many lone pair does it have on the basis of that we can also determine the shape by valence shell electron pair theory so here i have given you a hint the next video will be on valence shell electron pair theory by using Vesper theory to find out the shape of the molecule. Anyways guys, today's video is here. I hope that you have liked this video. If it was good, if it was good, if it was good, if it was good, then please, 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 please like the video, share the video, and please subscribe to the channel. So until the next video, my friend Guruji wishing you all the best.